more and more people are noticing that if you go on Steam forums, there's a lot of censorship. On different video games, you go on their forums and the moderators are ban happy. E even with things that aren't toxic, like if you have a negative opinion about a game or if you're pointing out about some bugs, you, you may get your comment deleted. And especially if you disagree with character design, like if you say that the women in the game look ugly or whatever, like that, that is just flat out ban. And this individual wonders like why that is the case. Now, it's important to mention that the moderators on Steam forums are the people actually working at Steam. Most of the time, they are hired by the company and they literally do it for free. Like those Johnnies do it for free. And they serve the interest of the company. So it's in the financial interest of the company that you don't talk shit about their game. Uh, which is why they can just ban you. Now, the bigger issue is that people put up with this. Like, if this happened, let's say, in 2016, there would have been an uproar. Like, those companies would have been review bombed. Uh, people would have refunded the game. Uh, they would not put up with this shit. But for some fucking reason, even though, like... Most people do not agree with, uh, like, modern social justice uh, activists and, and the stuff that they say. The social justice activists from 2016 all the way up until today have managed to normalize their ideology to the point where the overtone window has shifted so much that the average individual not only thinks that censorship is required, but they also believe that it's a good thing. Uh, and th this is a perfect example when I went on character AI forums. And uh, this is a website where you get to create chatbots. And I was like, okay, well, I'm making some very popular chatbots. I, I would like it if I could get some feedback from the people using those bots so I can tinker with it. And the answer that I got was like, no, you can't get your own forum because that wouldn't be moderated. Like they don't have moderators so that every bot creator has his own forum. Like it it's to the point where people think it's unthinkable to have something without moderation. Um, and this is like so ingrained into our psyche that it is just the way things are going to go from now on. Like you're never going to get the opposite. In fact, like I, I can't think of many places on the internet that have a forum the same way things were like in 2014. Like they just don't exist anymore. Like everything is moderated. And not even that, like video games are moderated. So for instance, and I, I said this on a previous video, Back in the day, if you wanted to play Minecraft, you had like a little dot .exe on your screen. And if you double click that, as long as someone else on the world had the same exe on their screen and they double clicked it, well, congratulations, you are online and you could play with each other. And everything that you typed, everything that you said was just private between you and that person. However, now that's not the case. Now, if you want to log into a video game, you need to create an account. Uh, many times you need a phone subscription as well, like a two-factor authentication system, so it's connected to your phone. In many countries, your phone is connected to your ID. And then everything you say gets to be recorded by a company, get, gets to go through an AI, and everything that you say gets filtered, all the trash talk is removed. And, and what's interesting, if you look at the sub studies, it shows that when video games became a thing, male suicide rate amongst teenagers went down dramatically. Um, now, when you have like the crackdown on trash talking and, and sanitization, the, the suicide rate went all the way back up. And, you know, obviously, like correlation doesn't mean causation. But, but I, like, I definitely can think that there may be something there. I, I definitely can think that if you have a teenager that's stressed, that's angsty with problems at school, a problem that goes into his house, him being able to log on a video game and express his frustration, you know, in a, in a manner that's safe and isn't harmful, like he's just saying shit on the internet, like that can be a huge stress relief and, and a good way for him to manage to express and, and channel his emotions. Um, but, but like now he can't even do that. Right? And, and again, like almost every single competitive sport throughout the history of mankind encouraged or had trash talking. Like everything, right? But, but like when you look at the sanitization, and again, it's the ideology of Americans mostly, like the, the woke ideology, which gets to dictate what is and isn't acceptable to say, it creates for environments that are very um, repressive. Um, it, it feels like you're playing video games with mommy in the room. Uh, it, it just doesn't feel right.
And, and it doesn't feel fun. That's the worst part of it. And then, unfortunately, it's where things are going. Now, will video game companies take advantage of this? Absolutely. I mean, they love it. Again, like, they, they can take advantage of the idea that censorship is normalized. And whenever they release a game, they can just choose who they ban and who they don't. And it's affecting give Steam. Because everything is affected, right? Like, the concept of normalization is what the left was constantly saying. It's like, oh, you can't have sexist jokes because it normalizes rape. Oh, you can't have uh, racist jokes because it normalizes racism. And for some reason, they had no problem with normalizing censorship and normalizing, like, the complete abolition of allowing people to express themselves. Like, that, that's fine. You know, even though that's a human right, by the way, uh, it doesn't matter, right? This, probably this is why they want to make healthcare a human right, so they can piss on it as well. But but the, the interesting point is, like, I also know game developers now, and I do know what's happening behind closed doors, and I do know people from AAA industries, and, and it's absolutely true. Like, it's not with Steam, but with other forums, for instance. Uh, game developers and, and publishers would definitely pay a premium so that the forum moderators just crack down any type of dissent or controversy that happens to be around their game. And, and the admins and moderators, they, they do not, like, crack down on the actual controversy because that's too obvious. But but they will, like, try to, to make it so, oh, you don't like our game? Well, you know, like, the, the, the way you expressed it, it's kind of hateful. You know, you use the word retard in order to say that our game is like, no, no. That, that, that is not the type of behavior that goes on our forum. So, yeah, like, AAA companies will definitely use censorship and the normalization of it. Uh, in order to make sure that the comments get deleted. Um, so, it, it is what it is. And, and it's not just that, but, like, the censorship can even extend out to modding websites. Like, the, the most private thing a gamer can do is to install a mod on his computer that doesn't affect anyone else. And even that one has censorship. And I, I think, like, the reason is quite clear. It's um, so, so that it normalizes and it ingrains in the public psyche that this is the correct way of behaving. Like, civilized people need censorship. And, and unfortunately, for those of us old enough, for those of us that actually managed to get, I wouldn't even say the early days of the internet, but I would definitely call it the golden age of the internet, you know that that's not the case, right? Like, there were forums where people were allowed to trash talk and express themselves, and it didn't cause societal harm. It caused societal harm for the left. I mean, they, they weren't able to push their ideology over there because they were mocked and ridiculed. But, like, it didn't actually translate into crimes in the real world. It didn't actually translate into harm in the real world. Like, like if anything, things were much better then. And the industry was much better then. I don't remember games being released broken on launch back then. But anyway, that's just some food for thought. So, um, I'm really interested in seeing uh, what you guys think on this particular subject. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.